Hi Dresser Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a cat that's ready to celebrate winter. So let's get started. To draw this cute cat, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And I'm going to come right across eh, about this way and draw another circle. There. Now that my two circles in, let's put in two small circles for highlights to make them draw so cute eyes and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here and I guess I need to change this sharpie because it's totally running out or maybe it's just the cold weather it's drying out the markers a little bit faster Okay, bear with me here as I finish up this <laughs> and lines at the bottom. Okay, so now that we're done with the eyes and I have a new Sharpie, let's come up here and we're just going to draw a soft curve over each eye. And then in between the eyes, let's come about right here in the center and we're just going to draw a small little nose, round off the corners and then just connect it towards the center. And then at the bottom right here in the center, we're going to come down, skip a little bit of space, and we're just going to draw two curves that pop out on both sides and cap it off. There. So you have your basic face for a cat. Now to frame it up. So let's come to, let's say, the, um, the center of your eye. I'm going to come out nice and wide. Let's just say about right here and about right here. From there, I'm going to use that point to start to go up. So we're drawing a very simple cat. So we're just going to go up nice and high to draw the ears. So let's see about right here. We're going to come down and about right here, we're just going to go across. And then about right here, just like the other side, we're going to draw the other ear. Just bring a point across, approximate same height, and then we're just going to bring it down to this point. So play around with the cutie. Sometimes maybe you feel that you could start off here with the ears and then put in the eyes. Whichever way you feel is a little bit easier for you to put this together. So sometimes I like to put in the eyes first, so I just make sure I know where my eyes are and frame it around it. Okay, so now that we have that, let's come back up here. So imagining this as a curve, we're going to come about right here, skip a little bit of space, come down, and I'm just going to draw the inside of our ear. So same thing here, just skip a little bit of space, down, and then draw the inside. There. Okay, so now that we have the top, let's go ahead and bring this down and in. And I'm just going to shorten it because this cat is wearing a scarf. So we're just going to make it shorter and then just connect at the bottom of a curve, a shallow curve. There. And then let's see here. Before I forget, let's come back to the top right here and draw this little hat. So I'm going to come right here, draw another curve, and then we're going to poof it up. Nice and high, just draw this little dome at the top. And then at the top right here, we're just going to draw a little poof ball. So what I like to do is just go around in a circle. Sometimes make some smaller, shorter, but 
Just by doing that, it makes it look very poofy, right? <laughs> Without creating a circle. So hopefully you like how that turned out. Just come in here and thicken it up a little bit. There. Okay, so now that we have our little hat in, we can finally draw. Let's, let's come back to here and we're going to draw the scarf. So about right here, kind of like the width of the eye. I'm just gonna wobble a scarf in here. Same thing over here. And connect. Nice thick scarf. And I almost forgot. I'm gonna come back in here and draw some stripes for our cat. So the center one's a little bit longer, and then you can come right here and draw some whiskers. There, now it's really a cat, right? <laughs> Pop that in a little bit, now I'm looking at my camera. And bring this in a little bit. So definitely make adjustments as you need. Okay, so now we have that. Let's draw this little body. So we're gonna come about right here, come in, and we're basically just going to angle out. It's kind of like this triangular body, very simplified cat body here. And so we're just gonna bring it out. And I'm gonna come back here into the center and about right here. And here, I'm just gonna give myself two lines. So this is where the hands are gonna start, the front. And so I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna come back right about here. And we're gonna make it thinner. And then about right here, just gonna pop it out. Pop out a paw and connect. So same thing here. And connect. And then come in here, two curves on both sides. And then we're just gonna bring this in, so curve it in and curve it in. And whatever space you have in between, just go ahead and draw a soft curve there. So I'm not gonna bother drawing the feet because you know how cats are, right? They're so cute. <laughs> They can tuck in their feet and you won't see it. So it makes it a lot easier for us to draw. And then right here, we're just gonna draw some ends to our scarf just to give our drawing here some motion. So maybe one here and then the one in the back that we can tuck in. And if you like, you can even add some of these. I don't know what these are called. Are they fringes or tassels on the ends of your scarf? there and of course that means I'm gonna draw a heart right here so I'll just give myself two points and there draw a heart so at this angle and of course we're gonna have to draw a tail right so I'm gonna come about right here and we're just gonna pop out this really long tail round off and just bring it right back in there and let's see here, are we missing anything else? I think that's pretty much it. So this cat is definitely ready to celebrate fall or winter. Just nice and cozy. And I really hope you love how it turned out. That inspired you to draw this cute cat today. And um, let me know in the comments below if there's any other animals that you would love to see all dressed up and ready for winter. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, I helped you today. Please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.